Hello everyone, I'm Michel Marcos from That's Brilliant. In this video, uh, we're going to have another thermal physics video. And we're going to discuss the conversion between temperature scales. So uh, in, the, in the video about temperature and heat, uh, we started uh, discussing uh, what temperature is. So uh, just remembering, temperature is the measure of how fast the particles of an object are moving. And um, we, we uh, want to measure, and when we measure, we want to assign a number to a, give, uh, to a given temperature. So um, for that, we created temperature scales. So we went to measure, and to measure, we assign a number. So we can, for example, compare two different temperatures using the numbers. But uh, there are different temperature scales. There is uh, a given temperature, and different scales use different numbers to represent the same temperature. So here, we're going to see how to convert between um, different scales. So we are going to see the conversion uh, between the three most common uh, temperature scales. But if you want to convert to another scale, or even create your own scale, the process of the conversion is the same, uh, no matter which name you give to your scale. So, um, you're going to see the conversion between Celsius, Fahrenheit, and Kelvin. So here, let's imagine we have kind of a thermometer to each of the, of the scales. So let's say here, um, this bar is going to represent the temperatures in degrees Celsius. This bar is going to represent the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. And this bar is going to represent the temperatures in Kelvin. Note that we use the, the word degree for Celsius and Fahrenheit, but not to Kelvin. We just say Kelvin. Um, and we are going to convert, uh, we're going to have an equation uh, which we can use to convert between the scales. So uh, what we're going to do is, um, well, this is very different here. Let me just, uh, the, let's imagine this is the same temperature for all the scales. Let's see. Let's say this is the same temperature for all the scales. Um, they are going to use, the three scales are going to use different numbers to represent the same temperature. But as I said, this is the same temperature. Uh, no matter which scale you are using, the, how the velocity at which the, the particles are moving is the same. Well, what changes is the number which you assign to the temperature. Uh, in, and that depends on which scale you are using. So the number is going to be different, but the temperature is the same. The state is the same. So let's say that this temperature on the bottom is the temperature at which uh, ice melts. So uh, when people use the, the Celsius, the degree Celsius scale, they call this temperature the zero. And this is just that who created the scale wanted to call this zero. This is what the people, the, what the person wanted to do. We, we, can't, we cannot change it. This is just what it is. The person who created the Fahrenheit scale uh, wanted to call this, um, this temperature, the same temperature, the temperature at which ice melts. But the person called this temperature 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And the Kelvin scale called this temperature uh, exactly 273 Kelvin. So again, these are different numbers, but uh, the temperature is the same. And uh, this, this second temperature here on the top is the same. This line represents the same temperature. And then let's say that this temperature is the temperature at which water boils. So it's the, it's the steam point. So uh, in the Celsius scale, this number was called 100 degrees Celsius. In the Fahrenheit scale, this number was called 212 degrees Fahrenheit. And in the Kelvin scale, this number was called 373 Kelvin. And uh, again, this number, these numbers are the numbers that the people who created the scale uh, chose to assign to the temperatures. Um, we, we, they, they are different scales, they're going to convert the 
temperatures between them. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to, to, to use a third temperature. So this is the ice point and the steam point. Let's call this point here of uh, an arbitrary point. It's a random point between these two points. And it's the same point for all the temperatures. This is the same temperature. It's the same temperature for all the scales. And again, the scales are going to use different numbers, but the temperature, the state, uh, the, the, the speed of the particles is the same for this temperature. What's going to change is only the numbers that different scales use. So uh, let's call the temperature at the Celsius scale of T C in the Fahrenheit scale of T F and in the Kelvin scale T K. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use proportions. So um, imagine the following. Um, we're going to, to, to think about the, the, the difference, the interval between this, this, arbitrary, this arbitrary temperature and the ice point. So it's this difference right here. From this random temperature, we, we just uh, call it GC, GF, or GK, this random temperature and the ice point. So it's this difference right here. And remember, this difference is the same. This temperature is one temperature, this is another one. What changes is the number we are using, because we are using different scales. But the, this difference is the same, no matter which scale you are using. And you are going to think about a second interval. This interval from the steam point to the ice point. So this interval right here. And the same uh, as I said about the other interval. This interval is all the same, no matter which scale you are using, because this is a steam point, this is ice point, no matter which scale you are using. So what we're going to do is, we're going to, to use um, three equivalent equations. Uh, we're going to create a relation, and it's going to be the, the smaller interval divided by the greater interval, by the bigger interval. And remember, this interval is all the same. The bigger one is all the same. So we can say that this proportion, the smaller to the bigger, is the same for all the scales, because the temperatures are all the same, which is changing just the number that this scale uses to, to call the temperatures. So we can say that this smaller interval divided by the bigger interval is this is equal to the smaller interval divided by the bigger interval, which is equal to the smaller interval divided by the bigger interval. And we're going to do this for the three scales. that are going to equal all the, the three statements because they are all equal. They are all the same proportion, the bigger to the smaller, the, the smaller to the bigger, sorry. So for the uh, Celsius scale, this means the smaller to the bigger is Tc minus zero divided by the bigger is 100 minus zero. 100 minus zero. This is equal to the smaller to the bigger. The temperatures are the same. Smaller, bigger are the same. We're going to equal this. We're going to equal this proportion to the same proportion using another scale. And we can do that because the temperatures and the intervals are the same. What, what is changing is the scale you're using. So, GF minus 32, GF minus 32 is equal to 212 minus 32. And the same in the Kelvin scale, it's going to be GK, plus, uh, GK minus 273. So, GK minus 273 divided by 373 minus 273. And this is a true statement, because we are saying this proportion is equal to this proportion, which is equal to this proportion. They are all the same proportion. What's changing is just the scale, but the proportions are all the same, so they are all equal. 
So uh, just simplify things. We have that Gc over 100 is equal to Gf minus 32 over uh, 212 minus 32 equals 180, which is equal to Gk minus 273 over, and here we have 100. And we can do uh, another thing. Let's uh, multiply all the three proportions, all the three fractions, by 20. So uh, here's going to be Gc over uh, 5, Gf minus 32 over 9, and Gk minus 273 over 20. That's uh, sorry, over 20, over 5. And this is the relation that we were seeking. This is the relation we want. We are here relating the temperatures in, um, in the three scales. So for example, imagine you have a temperature in Fahrenheit and you want to convert it to Kelvin, for example. So you forget about the Celsius. You're just going to use Fahrenheit to Kelvin. You get your Fahrenheit temperature and uh, plug it into the TF. So you're going to have an equation with only the Gk as a variable. You solve it for Gk and you have the temperature converted to Kelvin. So, uh, let's say you have uh, in Celsius you want to convert it to Fahrenheit. You hide the Gk, uh, the, this side of the equation, you have Gc and Gf. You plug the, your temperature in Celsius into Gf. You have an equation with only, uh, you plug, sorry, you plug the Celsius temperature in, into Gc. You're going to have uh, an equation if only Gf is a variable. Solve it for Gf, and you have your temperature converted to Fahrenheit. So uh, the next video, we're going to, to do some examples just to, to make this even more clear. Uh, but another thing I want to, to talk about in this video is that why do you use different scales? Uh, it's just more, more work to do, right? We could also use only one scale. Uh, well, I know. But uh, this, these scales were created by different people and different regions of the world decide to use different scales. So you have to know how to convert, uh, because for example, I uh, live in Brazil. Here, the temperature is, is primarily measured in Celsius. If you go to the US, they measure it in Fahrenheit. You need to, to know how to convert uh, in, order to, or in order for you to understand um, what temperature different people are talking about. And as I said, different regions of the world decide to use different scales. So uh, they were just adopted and they are now very uh, well established. So you cannot change this anymore. But if you stop to think, the three scales have uh, some properties that only they have, and only each one of them have. So for example, if you think about the Celsius scale, one, one thing that the Celsius scale has is that the, the zero, the, the ice point has an exact number, it's exactly zero. And the steam point is 100 degrees Celsius. That's another exact number. And uh, this is obviously at one atmosphere of altitude. But um, you can see that both the steam point and the ice point, they're exact numbers. And the interval between them is exactly 100. So uh, the Celsius scale uh, was defined. Think about the, the, the points of, of, of the water, of uh, an example of water, of ice, um, yeah, of ice, water, and steam, of each row, okay? The, the Fahrenheit scale, it has a difference between these two. Because we, we can see the difference between the steam point and the ice point in both the Celsius and the, and the Kelvin scale are 100. 0 to 100 and 273, just 373. So this interval is the same, is uh, numerically the same for both scales but not for the Fahrenheit. This interval for Fahrenheit uh, is a number of 180. So there are more numbers between the ice point and the steam point in the Fahrenheit scale. So uh, since there are more numbers, you can kind of be more precise when you measure because uh, we have um, larger intervals between two temperatures. So you can kind of be more precise when you measure. And the, the, the important thing about the Kelvin scale is that uh, is when you go to the zero Kelvin. This is um, kind of theoretical. 
It's uh, the temperature uh, called absolute zero. You may have heard of this already. Um, it's the temperature at which all the particles of, of the object that is at zero Kelvin, all the particles are stopped. As I said, the, the temperature is the measure of how fast the particles are moving. If an object is at zero degrees, all the particles are not moving, they are stopped. So the, all the movement is um, all the movement does not exist. So the, the temperature is literally zero. There is no speed of the particles. So this is called the absolute zero. And in the Kelvin scale, that temperature is really zero. In the other uh, scales, it's not zero. In the Kelvin scale, the absolute zero is this zero Kelvin. And uh, I said theoretical because uh, humans have, have got very close to zero Kelvin, but they have never reached it. Uh, Exactly zero Kelvin. They got very close, but never, but they never reached, really reached uh, zero Kelvin exactly. So um, this is it. This is, is what I wanted to talk about uh, in this video. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video.